Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this quick tree study, I share three must-know tips for painting trees. I start by drawing in my sketch with burnt umber, and then I make a quick monochrome underpainting. I scrub the paint quite loosely, grouping the foliage into large masses. So the first tip is that it's important to be aware of where the light is coming from in your scene and if it is consistent with the shadow shapes you are making for the tree's foliage, trunk, and cast shadow. After painting the sky and background, I start painting the deepest shadows in the foliage and trunk using a transparent dark mixture, consisting of ultramarine blue and transparent brown oxide. These two colors cancel each other out and create a very dark rich transparent dark that can lean from cool to warm depending on how much brown oxide or ultramarine blue you use. So it's a good idea to use transparent pigments in your foliage shadows because these pigments will allow the light to filter all the way through to the canvas surface and bounce back through the thin film of color and this creates depth. Conversely, opaque pigments do not allow any light to pass through them, making your foliage more solid looking and making the leaves come forward. So using transparent pigments in your shadows and opaque pigments in your lights will help you enhance the illusion of form and three-dimensional space in your trees. As I start introducing white pigment to paint the leaves in sunlight, colors start to become less pure and less chromatic, and may appear chalky and tense. To counter this, you can progressively use more chromatic pigments in your lights. For example, as I move into the sunlight leaves, I stop using ultramarine blue and start introducing green oxide of chromium. I also start adding a bit of cadmium yellow into my mixtures. These pigments are more chromatic and will help keep my light mixture from looking muddy and chalky. So as the leaves go up into the light, they not only get lighter in value, but they also get more chromatic. The colors are also getting more opaque as I'm introducing more opaque pigments and white into my mixtures. Thank you. 
I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. But that is it from me. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye everybody.